In 2017, ground was broken for a new state prison in Utah, which meant that the current facility in the city of Draper would be moving. Over the past decade, technology startup companies have been setting up shop in the area known as the Point of the Mountain. Because of the influence of tech companies, the area has been nicknamed Silicon Slopes. Right now, the prison is still in the so-called Silicon Slopes. There are several reasons why the prison is moving. This process started years ago, and there uh, are capacity issues with our current prison, for starters, safety issues, and then, of course, location issues and the age of our facility. Which is with companies joining Silicon Slopes, the citizens of Utah could possibly see a decrease in taxes and an increase for Utah in profits. You know, right now, the tax that we receive out of that property and the implications of making that property productive are immense. It could be in the billions. With Silicon Slopes rapidly gaining tech companies, what are some companies that have already come in and how many might join a new age of companies in the Silicon Slopes? If you look at the, the resume, if you will, of our city, uh, EMC, uh, EMC Dell, we've got that there, eBay, um, Jet.com, Thumbtack, those are some of the newer ones that's come in. Right now, you're looking at, you know, a, a tenfold of those that could come to that site. Superintendent Jim Briscoe is part of a committee that is anticipating the economic and educational impact of the redevelopment of the Point of the Mountain. One of their highest priorities is to bring a major research institution. Um, what they've found through their, their research is that having a major research institution located in that site, in that area, will generate a lot of development and economic development. And so that's a concept, is that everything would be centered around this research. To keep curriculum up to date, what are schools looking for to stay modernized? I think that the way that we move into that tech era is to always involve industry experts or businesses in the decision making of curriculum. So that when new courses are needed on a high school or college level, go to industry. What type of skill sets do they need? And by involving industry and by involving uh, more business owners in those types of decisions, we will see courses and curriculum related to the newest technology. With education changing and technology in a massive upbringing, tech companies are now in a higher demand and that means certain job skills would be required. As we think about future employees and particularly high school students that are graduating, some of the skills that we look for are some of the soft skills. Can you, can you write a nice email that's business appropriate? Do you know how to interact in the business environment? And do you have some basic tech skills? Utah high school students are being taught soft skills and technology skills for future employment in tech startup companies in the Silicon Slopes. I feel it's um, really benefiting because at my internship I have an, uh, an internship with uh, dealer track and I'm with computer programmers and managers of that and I feel it's pretty benefiting because it, they typically go over what we do in class and they put it into work and these are adults who are using what we're doing. There's a growing market for like tech jobs and programming related things with the advances in technology, so by taking these classes at C-Tech in the computer programming program, it's giving me experience with programming that will allow me a better chance to get the jobs and more experience so I could advance faster through classes later in college that relate to programming. As the prison moves out of Draper and the technology companies move in, the Silicon Slopes will continue to provide opportunities for bright new futures for Utah students. And it goes back to the mission of Canyon School District to prepare all students to be college and career ready. And to do that, you have to think ahead, you have to plan ahead. And that's what's happening at the point of the mountain. And I think that's what's happening here in Canyon.